101. If you're new, hi, I'm Haley, and this is Activities 101, and welcome. But today, I am doing a tips and tricks, tips and tricks for fitting all of your makeup into one little bag. This is a cute bag that I can carry around my wrist. Super cute, it says happy everything. And I love to have all my makeup in this one bag, but stuff is just too big. Like this whole contour palette, I can't even fit in this bag. So I'm gonna show you guys some tips and tricks for getting, for getting as much space out of this tiny bag as you can for trips. I'm going on a vacation very soon, so I wanted to do this video because some of these stuff I just recently figured out and it helps me so much when I'm going on trips. So I'm gonna start off with my first tip. And this one is probably one of my faves. So, they, you know your mascara? This is my mascara. It is a two-step mascara with, um, it is called Superstar X Fiber Volume Mask. So it really gives your lashes some volume. But it's so big and would take up so much space in this little bag. So, welcome the mini mascara. They make little mascara, oh my gosh, I cannot talk, okay. They make little mascara samples. This is one of the little mascara samples. And it's not as big as this big mascara, so I always keep one of these little mascara samples on hand for when I'm traveling, and it is probably the best tip ever because it is not that big and also has the same little brow tip, same size. Oh my gosh, not brow tip. Eyelash tip. It's the same size as a regular mascara, just in a tinier bottle. So that is the first thing I'm gonna put in this bag that takes up as much space as a little lipstick. Okay, the second hat is more for skincare items, but still, skincare is kind of a part of makeup. So I'm gonna share you guys with it. Share it with you guys, oh my gosh, okay. So I use this Proactive Toner, and it is a really big bottle, and look, it would take up a little bit more space than I like it to. It's just really big. So let me show you guys how I can make this little bottle into a thin little bottle. I'll be right back with the materials. Okay guys, this is what you're gonna need for this pack. First off, you're gonna need your toner, some cotton pads, and then a little mini plastic bag. I think you guys know where I'm going from this, but you're gonna start off by grabbing a couple of cotton pads. I'm just, cotton pads, I'm just grabbing like a ton. I'm gonna grab like that many, just cause it's two weeks, so it's technically like a packing video as well, but, so it's nice to have a ton. This also can be used as cotton pads and toner all in one. You're gonna take your plastic bag and you're gonna go ahead and stick your cotton pads in to the mini little plastic bag. And you're gonna take your toner and pop it open and pour some toner in. Pour it all over like this. And look at that, I'm literally almost out of this toner, but, and then look at that. I'm also gonna add in some rose water glycerin spray because it's nice. And this is two skincare products all in one. Y'all, it works so good. And I'm absolutely obsessed with the end product. After I put both my products in, 
I will snap up the bag and move the contacts around in the bag like this until they get all wet. Smush them down like this. And look, you guys have like 10 little skincare wipes all in one. Then all I do is I will take out some of the air. Close it up. Then I fold it up like this. And look at that. You can even take a little mini rubber band and rubber band it. Like that. Look how cute that is. And look how tiny it is compared to this. And you don't have to bring this big thing of contacts for your skincare products. So that is, of course, the second thing I'm gonna put in my makeup bag. I have so much more space left. This is amazing. But the next hack is going to blow your mind. Let me show you guys. So this is a powder hack. So this is a little CoverGirl blush. And as you guys can see, I've got my blush right here. And then there's a little empty section that used to be used for the brush. But you know what else that could be used for? Powder. So, I've got this big contour palette and this big eyeshadow palette. But I can turn it into a little tiny thing like this. All I'm gonna do is empty out this little empty square and keep one of the blushes. Then I'm gonna take my contour palette and it's so perfect but I have to ruin it up. And I'm gonna pick my favorite shade, this cream shade, and I'm gonna scrape in some into the little empty box here. And this is great if you use, I'm using, I'm just gonna wash this off afterwards, but I'm just using this little like dental cream to scrape some out. Okay guys, I'm done, and this does mess up your con contour palette a little bit, so you guys can see. But look at how much I got in, and it's so much tinier than this big thing. But, of course, there's room. Hold on, I would use this spoon, I had to go get a spoon for this. So it's kind of hard to scoop out the powder. But, after that, there's room for more. So I'm gonna put some different eyeshadow colors in here too, from my eyeshadow palette. And this is so tiny, but can be used for so much. So I'm going to scoop out some... Okay, I finished scooping out from my eyeshadow palette, and this is what it looks like. You can just like literally, ah, okay. So this is what it looks like, and it's so cute and tiny, and works so well. So this is the next item that I'm putting in here. Okay, so the next hack, and I think this is the fourth hack, maybe, maybe not. This isn't really a hack, but I just wanted to show you guys kind of some hair essentials that I bring when I'm packing. So, let's just go over it. First step is you should always bring a clear hair tie, so I'm putting that in my bag. This is just a regular bow scrunchie, but it's super cute, so I'm gonna put all that into my bag. Next is brushes, and I've got a hack for you. If your regular brushes are too big, like look how big this is, like oh my gosh. Then I've got a hack to turn this cotton pad. We have already used cotton pads in one of these hacks, and they work so well pat in some blush or contour or even concealer. 
concealer. And, so, and they're super tiny. So I usually make about three and stick it in my makeup bag. And they're so tiny and fun. So thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe down below if you're new. And bye guys, I will see you guys next time. And real quick update, sorry. Um, I haven't really been posting every other day. So might not get to it every other day because I'm leaving tomorrow for my trip. But I'm gonna try and post every other day. Bye guys, hope you guys, see you guys next time, oh my gosh. Oh, 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 oh,